Hey and welcome back to another video. Today I have exciting new plugin for you, which is called Vocal Cleaner. It's from WA Productions. They sent me a um, version to try it out and see how it works for me. I do quite a bit of um, voiceover work and I thought um, this plugin, even though it's called Vocal Cleaner, is a perfect example to use for voiceover because it's very easy and handy to use. And I can basically um, reproduce my um, chain that I use for voiceover mixing with this plugin. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get straight to it. I have um, two examples here. Um, voiceover, female voiceover, um, which was tracked in my um, vocal booth. And then I got also a live statement where I show you what you can do with this plugin. Um, with background noise, so kind of like a denoiser. Um, let's try the first one, and I'm gonna play you now before I open up the plugin um, the version that I uh, normally use. So I have plugins like a standard noise gate, um, NS1 from Waves, which is a um, noise reduction plugin. Then I got the DSer from Waves, um, a channel EQ, just a standard logic channel EQ here nothing special, and the compressor. So this is a very basic chain that I um, use for voiceover. Um, it changes over time quite a bit and depending also on the voice, but this is um, my go-to setting here. So I'm gonna play you now the voiceover. Our cavity manipulator Kevman is a plugin for the Pymel molecular visualization system. Cavities can be calculated and displayed to be then used in the search platform Catalophore. All right, and um, this is not a duplicated version, um, just with the plugin and the compressor. The compressor is the same settings as the compressor um, on the original version. So let's open up the plugin, and it looks like that. So as you can see, we have um, quite some features in here. We've got a denoise section, we've got a DS, we've got a built-in gate, um, where you can also set in the amount. Um, depending how much you want of it. You got a high pass and a low pass filter, so a high cut and a low cut. You have a blend knob, you have an output knob and a presense slider, which is essentially um, some sort of EQ combined with saturation and also a bit of compression um, um, that you can use to brighten up the vocal or the um, voiceover or something like that. So, um, I'm gonna play you now with the setting. I have here a template already, uh, a preset that I saved, which is called Set Marty Voice Over. So let's try it now. Our cavity manipulator Kevman is a plugin for the Pymel molecular visualization system. Cavities can be calculated and displayed to be then used in the search platform Catalophore. Without it. Distributed by Innofor. As a proprietary tool, that allows us to model cavities around a substrate, this tool is not yet commercially available. However, a beta version for contract projects is used. The cata So it sounds totally fine to me. And what I really like is that I, I think I just did this um, preset in four or five minutes or something like that. So um, this basically um, is the same as I have on the original here. So we got a noise gate, like I have here. We got a denoiser. We got a deesser. Channel EQ is essentially here just the presence and the high and the low pass filter. Um, what I basically do um, is a, a low cut, um, a little bit taking out the lower mids and bumping up the high frequencies. Um, just a go-to setting here, um, EQ-wise. And essentially, I did the same here, um, high pass filter, um, and the low pass didn't do anything here. Added quite a bit of presence to raise um, the EQ in the top end a little bit. And I essentially did the very same here with the settings. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you now what you can do with this plugin. So let's um, zero everything out. All right, so now we have the default settings here, and let's start off with the denoise. Um, you want um, here too much um, in that example of the denoise because as it was tracked in the um, vocal booth, um, you won't hear any hiss. I used quite a, a good microphone for that. 
um, but you hear it in the next example. But just to show you what it can do here is, so let's try Our that. cavity manipulator, Cadman, is a visualization system. I mean, if you overdo it, display. get rid also to of be the then um, voice itself. Telephore. Um, so what this essentially is doing, um, you can decide here with this small um, indicator here, which says N for uh, neutral, D for dark, and B for bright, um, which targets certain frequencies. And you can set in the amount how much of um, a noise reduction you want. For example, if you have a little bit of hiss in your recording, you can get rid of that um, when you set it to bright and get a little bit going here. Our cavity manipulator Kevman is a plugin for the Pimal molecular visualization system. Cavities can be calculated and displayed to be then used in the search platform. Right. So, but in this example, um, I hardly use the denoise for that. Um, and let's go on. I'm going to show you the denoise later on in the next example with deesser. And this works actually quite well. So let's go to a section, maybe here. We have quite some S's. Therefore, Kevman is able to mutate amino acids and move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. All right, so let's start off with neutral here. Therefore, Kevman is able to mutate amino acids. This is now very hard piercing setting with 100%. Drag function. Therefore, Kevman is able to just to show you what the different settings do. Amino acids and move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. Therefore, Kevman is able to So let's set it to bright. Therefore, Kevman is able to mutate amino acids and move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. Therefore, Kevman is able to mutate amino acids and move certain areas of the structure. So what I found out is um, you dial in with this slider a little bit, maybe too much. Um, of the effect, and then you back it down with the amount. This works quite well. Um, so maybe let's let's listen to this part here. And move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. And move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. And move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. So without it and move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. Oh. And move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. Maybe a little bit too much, but you can, of course, play around with that. So just to show you um, how the DS works. Um, let's move on to the gate here, standard gate, basically. And move certain areas of the structure via a drag function and move certain areas of the structure via a drag function. And move certain areas of the structure. Let's see how it works overall. Our cavity manipulator Kevman is a plugin for the Pimal molecular visualization system. So what you basically want with the gate here on voiceover is that it um, clamps down after um, the sentence or sometimes also the words are spoken, but not in between. Um, so to not cut off any um, ending words or any um, letters or something like that. So just to make it natural, but to clean up the time between sentences, for example. Our cavity manipulator Kevman is a plugin for the Pimal molecular visualization system. Cavities can be calculated and displayed to be then so used to it. search platform Catalifor, It cuts distributed in between by words. Which you As a proprietary don't want. tool that allows us to model cavities around a substrate, this tool is not yet commercially available. However, a beta a nice version for here. contract projects is used. Um, again, also with the DSA. The Catalifor Cavman can down. be understood as a 3D graphic representation of the cavity, which allows us to add, remove. All right, so that's the gate. 
Um, let's see the um, high pass filter here. Our cavity manipulator Cavman is a plug-in for the Pymel molecular visualization system. So standard filter, taking out the can be calculated and, and displayed. The end. To be then used in the search platform then Catalifor, you get also the mix distributed knob. by Innofor. As a proprietary tool that allows us to model cavities around a substrate, this tool is not yet commercially available. However, so a beta how much version of for wants, contract can projects be very nice, is used. For example, with de or the Catalifor Cavman can be understood as a 3D graphic representation of the cavity, which allows us... And finally, also the presense, um, which is, as I said in the beginning, a EQ with a little bit of saturation and compression. So let's see how that works out. Which allows us to add, remove, Crop, so you can make it overly bright. Assemble areas of the cavity in order to specifically really influence dark. the corresponding enzyme properties. Cavman takes the protein structure into account when points are added. All right, so that's the presense knob. Um, let's go now to my voice over setting. I'm going to show you what I did here. Um, used a little bit of the denoise, um, just 30% in the bright mode. A um, little bit of de -assing also in the bright mode. Um, a gate, so just to cut it down after the words. Um, a high pass filter here of 108. Did nothing with the low pass. Ah, a little bit, 18.9 kilohertz. So just took off a little bit of the top end. Um, added quite a bit of presence and that's basically it. So let's see again how that works out. Our cavity manipulator Cavman is a plug-in for the Pymel molecular visualization system. Cavities can be calculated and displayed to be then used in the search platform Catalifor, and distributed works. by Innofor. So let's compare it um, to the original here, which is the red one. So let's start off with the original and then I'm going to change to the vocal cleaner one. Our cavity manipulator Cavman is a plug-in for the Pymel molecular visualization system. Cavities can be calculated and displayed to be then used in the search platform Catalifor, distributed by Innofor. As a proprietary tool that allows us to model cavities around a substrate, this tool is not yet commercially available. However, a beta version for contract projects is used. All right, so um, I think it works totally fine. And um, it's, again, very, very easy to use and you can get results quite quickly um, instead of having to use um, multiple other third-party instances, um, which is essentially here just the basic setup, um, but of course, you can do it just with the vocal cleaner here. And now for the denoise, I'm going to show you now the other version here, which is a live statement. So let's listen to it without it. Just a little bit of compression going on. Um, I think that obviously climate is a big issue, but um, if I go straight to the point, uh, living in Cairo, it's very hot. So we're seeing the future. So as you can hear, quite a bit of background noise, people talking. Um, quite a bit of hiss and hum. Um, you can hear um, it was basically in a, a environment um, where people were eating in the background, so you can also hear all those kind of different noises in there. So let's engage the vocal cleaner. Um, I think that obviously climate is a big issue, but um, if I go straight to the point, uh, living in Cairo, it's very hot. Again, without it. Um, I think that obviously climate is a big issue, but um, if I go straight to the point, uh, living in Cairo, it's very hot. So if you have headphones on, you can clearly hear. Um, I think that obviously climate is a big issue, but add a little um, bit more presence. if I go straight to the point, uh, living in Cairo, it's very hot. So we're seeing the future in that way because I'm seeing how lighting and public space again, and interior space is being dictated by the climate. Uh, that so what I did here is um, I used just a denoise here 
with um, a little bit of a high pass filter, 114 here, and um, added a bit of presense. And I also blended in 70% here with the mix knob. Um, as you can see, the denoise here is setting on bright, 100% and negative 24 here. Um, I think that obviously so climate is a big a issue, but um, if I go straight to the point, uh, living in Cairo, it's very hot. So we're seeing the future in that way because I'm seeing how lighting... So of course, if you use a denoise plug-in, not only with that, um, there's always a fine line how much you use of it because um, obviously you also dampen the, um, the voice um, itself of the narrator. Um, so you have to play around quite a bit with it um, to get the amount and the settings right. But overall, to my experience, um, it's always better to have the um, background reduced quite a bit, even though the um, narrator voice gets a little bit darker or dampened, but you can hear it much better than with the background noise and you're not distracted by it. So the listener is more focused on the voice itself. All right, so I hope I could give you a good overview of this plugin. I like it quite a lot. It's very easy to use. You have all the functions that you might want to use on vocals or on um, voiceover. Um, but of course, you can um, probably also use it on instruments, for example, maybe on a snare to um, gate a snare or something like that. Or if you have a recording that has a little bit of noise um, in it, like a a um, higher frequency um, hiss or something like that, you can get rid of that. And yeah, it's from WA Productions. So thanks um, for sending me this plugin to try it out. And as always, hope you have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that now. If you want to see more videos like that in the future, I'm Marty and I'm gonna see you hopefully in the next video.